Good evening and welcome to the celebration. Jim and Haley hired me to welcome you all and thank you all for coming. Uh, we're all so tickled that you decided to spend a beautiful Saturday with us down here in Finley. A couple things about these two. Those of you who don't know my son probably don't know that Haley just married an awful good human being. She really did. He's a caring guy. He's got a hell of a work ethic. He's a nose to the grindstone type of guy and he goes quietly about accomplishing, pursuing and accomplishing his own goals. There's no room in Jim's life for high drama or fanfare unless he needs to make a splash. So two times when he decided to make a splash. When Jim was five years old, his name wasn't Jim. His given name was Trent. And on a typical day, I would come home from work and Trent would meet me at the door and he would say, hi, Dad, you want to throw the football? And we'd throw the football. Well, summertime of that year, one night I came home and he didn't say, hi, Dad, and he didn't say, do you want to throw the football? He had something else on his mind and he needed emphasis, so he used the finger. And I come in the door and he said, I'm changing my name to Jim Chamberlain. I don't remember any further conversation about it that night, in fact, at all. But about six weeks later, he went to first grade on the first day of school. And like all kids, he finds papers on his desk that need to go home and be signed by parents, pre-printed by the computer with name and address. And every place that he recognized the word Trent, he took out his big crayons and he put a big X through that, and he wrote in great big first grader letters, J-I-M. And it caused quite a lot of trouble for Tanya and I to the point that they told us to keep our kid at home until we could all agree upon what his name was. <laughs> so from that day forward, he's been Trent, so that little bit of drama seems to have worked out well in his favor. Or he's been Jim, I'm sorry, been Jim. The other time I want to tell you about just wasn't all that long ago. Jim and, Jim and Haley were hosting a bonfire party at their house, and Jim kind of secretly made sure that many of us were there a little bit early. We showed up and it stressed Haley out something fierce because people were not supposed to be there till after dark for a bonfire. Well, this was the day Jim was going to pop the question. And Haley didn't know it, naturally. So he coaxed her out of the house where she was scurrying about to get things ready, coaxed her into the yard, and he didn't look her in the eye and ask her if she would marry him. He didn't drop to one knee and produce a ring. We just kind of hung out until the airplane came overhead, dragging a banner that said, Haley Joe, will you marry me? That's the second little piece of drama from my son, and that too worked out well in his favor. And then there's Haley. I never really thought much about Haley's life before Jim because I didn't know Haley before Jim. And then the other day, young fella looked me up and struck up conversation and he said, you know, Mr. Chamberlain, I used to know Haley a long time ago. In fact, I dated her for quite a while. And since she's getting married to your son this weekend, it's probably high time that I give the key back to her apartment. So,
But it makes perfect sense, right? You know, I never thought about it, but... <laughs> are there any other keys that are still outstanding? It makes perfect sense, right? It does, because although I had never thought much about her life before Jim, Haley is the nicest, most caring person we've probably ever met. She's got a glowing, happy personality. Man, she can cook. Uh, what else? I mean, she's fun to be around. We, we're tickled as anything to have her as part of her family. She's very attractive, and she loves dogs. So, yeah, it's, uh, she's the complete package, and uh, we're glad that she's a chamberlain. And we're all so happy that you joined us tonight. Thank you very much. All right, everyone. We are going to go ahead and continue on with our event tonight. So coming up, we have a few toasts. Starting off, we have the Matron of Honor, Audrey. Then we have the Best Man, Michael. And then bringing up the rear, we have the Maid of Honor, Emily. So Audrey is up first. If you could please give her your undivided attention. Hello. Um, like he said, I'm Audrey. Uh, I've been friends with Haley since we've been very little girls. Um, one of my favorite uh, points to remember Haley by and how we know each other is actually he's here tonight. It's T.O. used to get us uh, confused between shortstop and third because we look so much alike. And in saying that, she's always been someone who is like my sister. Um, someone who's like a sister I never had. So in saying that, I've known her a very long time. Um, she, I think her life turned around when, as anyone who was here at the wedding knew that she had a job at B-dubs and I remember when she texted me and told me she went on her first date with Jim and how she met was his phone number on her receipt and I was like, this guy, <sighs> next. He doesn't have the couth to tell you who he is. But come to find out, Jim is the greatest guy that Haley has ever met. Um, I've never seen her happier. She literally glows. And I didn't know Jim before Haley, but knowing Jim now, she definitely has a patient and kind man. Um, someone who's very respectful. Someone who's ready to adventure with her someone who's ready to take on the next step. Being married, I know that one of the hardest things that you can do as a dating couple is plan a wedding. We have officially made it past the wedding. <laughs> so they have so far done the hardest thing that they can do. And they're both sitting here. So here's to a very happy, long marriage. And I hope I'm there through it all. I can't wait to see your little ones. So everyone, raise your glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Chamberlain. Oh, God. OK. Oh, yeah. All right, hello. Good evening, everyone. My name is Michael. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to start by thanking everybody for coming out tonight to celebrate this special day. I would also like to thank Aaron and Tracy f for raising such an incredible young lady. And uh, Jim and Tanya, I would like to thank you for trying. <laughs> uh, so Jim and I first met at a New Year party some years back 
And that night we really hit it off. Uh, after talking all night, we realized like we really had a lot in common. Uh, we were both like horrible students in high school. Uh, we both like skipped college and chose to go into the uh, construction field like right after high school. And uh, we both had like a really strong passion for uh, Bud Light. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, after that night ended, Jim and I were like inseparable. So for years, I mean, we spent every day together after work. Uh, we would go for beers and dinner every night. Uh, we always had something planned for the weekends. I mean, we like, we really just had fun every single day. And uh, for everyone that knows Jim, they know that he is a very honest, very respectful, genuine young man. He's also an extremely responsible individual. And if you know me, well, uh, the same doesn't really apply. So with that being said, anytime I've ever found myself in a pinch, I've always been able to count on Jim to save my ass. So anyhow, I'm making my way home from work one day when I get a phone call from Jim, and right away I can hear like the excitement in his voice. He goes on, he's like, dude, I just took my grandma to lunch. I'm like, okay, like, damn, like, grandma must be really fun. <laughs> he's like, dude, I just met the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my entire life. He's like, oh my God, she is literally so perfect, dude. I'm going to marry her. I'm like, uh, okay, did you get her phone number or what? He's like, no, I left my phone number on the check. And at that moment, I really felt bad for him because obviously in my head, I mean, I obviously assumed that she just like reported his phone number to the police. But here we are today sharing a celebration of their love. Jim, Haley, I love you both. And uh, I'm so happy that you found each other because let's be honest, you two are perfect together. Uh, I think I speak for everyone here when I say that I am so grateful to be a part of this special day. And then uh, before I propose my toast, I do have one thing. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> So here's a cheers to the lovely new newlyweds. Full fucking sun. Top that. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll try to top that. I don't know, but hi everyone. I want to thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate Jim and Haley. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Emily, and I wouldn't know Haley if I um, never met Jim. So I grew up with Jim in Bellevue and honestly never thought I would be standing here at his wedding giving a speech because I wasn't sure Jim would ever settle down. <laughs> when Jim and Haley started dating, I could instantly tell that he was excited about her and really eager for me to meet her. The first time I ever met her, I knew that I was probably going to like her better than Jim and that Jim was batting out of his league. But in all honesty, the first time I ever met Haley, um, I knew right away that we were going to be great friends. She was so genuine and kind and obviously a saint for being able to put up with Jim. Our, friend, our friendship was easy after we met and we pretty much talked every day after that. Although we haven't been friends since childhood, I know we will be friends for the rest of our lives and I'm very grateful for that because everyone needs a Haley in their life. Jim, I don't think you could ask for a more beautiful bride or a better life partner than Haley, so don't forget that. And Haley, keep being the saint that you are, and remember, if you find the money in the laundry, it's finders keepers. <laughs> I found a quote that says, love has nothing to do with what you are expecting to get, only with what you are expecting to give, which is everything. So my advice to you both is to never stop giving to each other and never go to sleep mad. I'm so grateful that you both have found each other. Tim and I are so lucky to have lifelong friends in the both of you, and I've never seen either of you so happy. And I love the life that you guys are building together, so thank you for allowing me to be a part of that. Let's all raise our glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs. Chamberlain. Cheers. Cheers.